Vacation at a remote cabin in the woods turns into a nightmare for a young girl and her parents in a new thriller, Knock at the Cabin. It's the latest film from visionary director M. Night Shyamalan and Good Day Atlanta's Paul Milliken caught up with the filmmaker this week to learn more about that project. When an M. Night Shyamalan movie hits theaters, you expect to be on the edge of your seat. And with his latest tense and claustrophobic thriller, you might be under it. The movie is called Knock at the Cabin, but if our recent interview was a movie, it might be called The Horror of Beige. There's a lot of beige. I love, the, oh, there's so much beige in your eyes. Like, what does, that say, not, about, what does no. that say about your personality? That's what is not that? a compliment coming from a filmmaker. I think that was a thumbs down for my living room. Thankfully, early reaction to M. Night Shyamalan's latest thriller is far more positive. You shouldn't make things up when we're talking about can you open the door, please? Knock at the cabin finds a family of three cornered in a vacation rental up against four terrifying strangers and one horrible ultimatum. Your family must choose to willingly sacrifice one of the three of you to prevent the apocalypse. It's such a tight movie. It's a closed set. It's a select group of people. If you took it down to an hour and put it in black and white, it was very much like a Twilight Zone episode. Yes. Is that an inspiration for you? Yeah, I mean, I think Twilight Zone taught me uh, the power of economy. For budget reasons, Rod Serling had to use his mind to tell stories about bigger things than they can afford. Yeah. And that created a kind of timeless way to hear these big stories. If they had had more money, I think they would have, it wouldn't have been as effective. And so it creates this kind of painting of the mind of the bigger, of the bigger things that they're talking about. And, yeah. and it's also, it's very, very unnerving when the, um, the, the, when the storyteller's not showing you the thing that, that you, you're, you're worried about. Something in that world, something in that world. Let's try it again, back to Juan, thank you. When are you gonna make a movie in Atlanta? You know we're waiting for you down here. I would love it. I have family in Atlanta. Yeah. I come down there all the time. My daughter uh, is a musician and she's played so many times in Atlanta. So I'm down there a lot. All right. Well, when you come, I will let you have dinner in my beige house and you can redecorate. Is that like be is that beige sheets on your bed? I mean, is that what? It's a fainting couch. All right. Give me okay. a little credit. <laughs> my friend. We're classy in this house. <laughs> and you notice I'm in my office now because the living room is being repainted. Knock at the Cabin features a terrific cast, including Dave Bautista, Jonathan Groff, and Rupert Grint. Paul Milliken, Good Day Atlanta. Well, at least he was told, you know what yeah, I mean? He could have just been talking know. about him behind his back. Right. <laughs> Thanks to Universal Pictures for production assistance with that interview. Knock at the Cabin opens in theaters nationwide today.